This is Paul Yo Jr. Uh, and today I wanted to show you um, how to get paint um, and spray paint off of um, different materials. So right now I'm actually using my room as uh, a test subject because I have to do it anyway because the previous owners, if, as long as you can see this, all this stuff down here, just from them, uh, somebody here was an artist and they would paint in this room and, uh, and then just get crap all over the place. So um, I haven't done anything with the floor. I haven't prepared it or anything like that. Um, I used this in a previous video and it's Motzenbacher's Lift Off Spray, so it's spray paint, paint, and graffiti. Um, and basically, with this, um, with really anything, and how I used it in the previous videos, was just adjust this. Um, all you really have to do is find your area. What we're going to do is just spray it. I hope there's enough light here that you can see me. You can actually see that spot. So I'm going to give it a little bit, and what this basically does is it brings the um, the ingredients um, from the uh, from the dry paint back to life, which um, your ideal situation is to wipe, is to just to be able to wipe it off, but it's really dependent on how long it's been there and so forth, so what they say you can use a paper towel so what we're gonna do right now is see what our best options are so I have just this new sponge that I just you know been reusing uh, and a cloth and then I actually have this little this little guy here it's just a little scraper um, it's not really too abrasive um, like those like steel ones but you know we'll see what we can do so we just let it sit there for a second and let's see what it does just with a wipe so that should have I just wanted to get that little area like that big spot right there that you can see as long as you can see it so which is like right here and I'm hoping we have enough light over here too that you can see it too so first we're just going to do a wipe damn already it's coming off look at that that's just from letting it sit. That's just from just letting it sit there for, um, you know, for what, 30 seconds, 40 seconds. So that should get off a lot of the lighter stuff. And I know that that paint has been sitting there for a while. So basically, those ingredients. You know whatever was in them um, you know rematerialized and came back as if they were somewhat fresh making it easier to come off so I'm going to spray these two little spots and I'm actually with this one let's see if I can just use the sponge or this uh, scraper look at that right off and it should be the same with this one doing a circular motion just to make it easier and it's not gonna mess up your floor or anything like that so and we'll just use this cloth as our as our wiper it's kind of our clear off cloth so like you can see right there I mean that's wood and you can really use um, this stuff on any surface as well and that was why I wanted to show you um, even just this which is which was to a um, what you call a flood lamp, which uh, I actually spray painted that on purpose. <laughs> so so this one is actually it's pretty much dry. I, I sprayed it a little while ago, but um, I'm gonna do it. See, we got some lighter spots right over here. You can see right here, and same thing. 
to spray it, let it sit for a couple seconds. As long as it's on there, this stuff works really fast. So, let's just see. Look at that. It's already gone. So the lighter, the lighter stuff comes up really, really easy. Really easy. And the floor will dry fine and all that good stuff. You're not going to have to worry about that. So, and like I said, if you need some extra help, um, you know, you could probably just use a Brillo pad um, to get some of the stuff that you can't just, you know, wipe off. And that's it right there. So, and this thing was a little, this thing was actually a little piece of shit uh, dollar store item. So, um, I think they use it in China to help uh, clean stove tops and so forth but hey it works for it works for the purpose that we're doing right now so for this let's see it. okay that's definitely dry so that's this is just a I don't know what kind of metal this would be but it's metal from a, from, uh, from a flood lamp so it's maybe some kind of light steel or something like that um, I actually had to use this stuff on, I'll put a picture in the video uh, of what somebody spray painted the hell out of my car um, and I had to use this stuff to uh, to get it off. So what we're going to do right now, so obviously that's been sitting there for years and that just came up and this is just from today. So we're just going to spray this. And if it gets on the floor or anything like that, I'm not too con you know, don't be too concerned about it. This should be maybe even a little bit easier. So you see we have the stuff and then we have the blue. This is spray paint. That was just paint. And in this we have some grooves. So it might be a little bit more. Nah, it's still calm. I guess it just depends on which way you're going with it so but as you can see it comes off relatively quickly I'm not worried about getting this on my floor because I'm just gonna rub it um, when I stop doing the video anyway so for this one you know I'm not even using the brush and because it's not as pile it up as the other stuff is a little bit more piled up than this stuff is and this stuff's coming right off um, you know it, this stuff's biodegradable so you don't really have to wear any gloves with it or anything like that I just say it it doesn't really have a intense odor to it either so but so even if we just wanted to make it well, I'm on the, I'm actually on the plastic, but I just wanted to make it a little bit quicker there. So the ingredients come back to life. And like I said, you can use this. You can use something like this, like a little straight brush. Just to get in there. So this actually has some grooves, but we're still getting it. So what was once, you know, a spray painted, I mean that was spray paint. That was regular paint on the floor, but this was spray paint. Um, and that comes off just as easy as well. I mean, brand new, I mean, just exactly how you purchased it or stole it or borrowed it from somebody <laughs> so but yeah just a just a for instance there so this stuff works freaking phenomenal phenomenal I don't think I would ever even use another product since I found this one because just of how f how fast it works so you can use this on any material you can use it on 
metal, obviously. You can use it on wood, you can use it on plastic, um, you could use it on, well, obviously your car is metal, but if, like uh, I'll show you in the video, um, somebody spray painted my car, and that's all I had to do was let that stuff sit on there for a little bit, and um, and it was, and I had it off, and maybe, I mean, they spray painted the entire hood of my old car. <clears throat> it was like Taylor Gang or something like that. <laughs> but, um, and it took me maybe five minutes to get it off. So it wasn't even a big deal. So you can use this stuff for brick, like I said, bricks, wood, metal, um, you name it. Any kind of surface, plastic, um, any kind of surface, uh, you can use it on. This is just an extra if it is a little bit thicker. That's all. If it's not thick, typically you can just wipe wipe it right off with a, a paper towel or um, you know a towel like that. So, but that was it. That's just just a quick video. I wanted to show you with that. Um, that's all you really need. Like I said, it's really the odor is not that bad. I'm actually doing this in my room right now. My window's open, and the smell is already starting to go away. So it's not that bad. If you are concerned, get like a little bottle of soap or something like that and spray it down or just spray some air freshener and, and you'll be fine trust me but that was it because just stupid stuff happens all the time and instead of just sitting there and trying to scrub it out you know with soap and water um you know and and the a brillo pad and a sponge and all that kind of stuff you can just Wink. just right off go on and you can use that sound effect Wink. right done like that so, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Just doing short, th um, you know, short little how-tos and little helpful stuff, um, just uh, for general purposes and and so forth. Uh, as I'm coming across different things uh, in the house <laughs> that have to um, be done first, and then obviously move on to other things. So, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, leave some, leave any comments, like. Uh, please subscribe and like always let me know if there's anything you're interested in or um, you have a question about and I could probably answer it for you. Um, Alright, cool. Have a good night guys. Later. Or whatever time it is.